landed in Lampedusa. So from an outpost of Europe. And that's why many people from Africa are trying to get here. They don't get here the way I got here today. As part of my work for the Global Relationships team of the Methodist Church in Britain, I spent three days on Lampedusa, the Italian island in the Mediterranean Sea that is one of the main destinations for migrants trying to get to Europe from North Africa. I was there with Tom and David, two colleagues from the Methodist Church in Ireland, and Fiona from Mediterranean Hope, a church organisation that the churches in Britain and Ireland support. Through our meetings with local activists and other partners of Mediterranean Hope, like Sea Watch, we were given detailed insights into the seemingly insurmountable challenges that migrants face on the borders of Europe. We also got to see the human face of migration, both from the side of those who flee and those who welcome. So we just arrived here at this uh, sanctuary where we we're going to get some introduction, uh, but we just got a call. Three of the teams have to go down to the docks um, because there's a boat just come in. So already the program's been interrupted, but it's what these volunteers are here for. Because of Lampedusa's location right in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea, it was a place with many and varied influences down through the ages. But its location also made it an ideal place for refuge. Records going back to the 12th century show that a group of hermit monks set up a sanctuary and refuge here in these caves. Later they shared this space with people of the Muslim faith who sought sanctuary on the island. The work that Mediterranean Hope is doing here today continues in that rich heritage of welcoming the stranger that has so much been a part of Lampedusa. So uh, we were just having our induction into the, the work of Mediterranean Hope here in Lampedusa. Giovanni was sharing about the work of Lampedusa when uh, we got word that there's another boat coming in. So three of the team have already been down this morning and received 30 migrants and in 10 minutes another boat of about 40 migrants are arriving and so we're going down to the dock. In the background is the dock where the migrant boats are escorted to by the Italian Coast Guard boats. It's a military zone and we could not film from there but you can see the small boats that have arrived. On that one day a total of 17 boats arrived bringing with them anywhere between 10 and 150 migrants. And these are the lucky ones. We need to find a way of sharing what we have on this planet. Dealing with corruption everywhere. So that people can actually stay where they want to stay and don't have to flee home. I have no answers, but my Christian faith teaches me to welcome the stranger. The team from Mediterranean Hope also showed us the cemetery on the island. A local community organisation made up of local residents, church members and other activists have made it their mission to give a dignified burial and a final resting place to those migrants who were not fortunate enough to make it alive to Europe. So we've come down to the very southern tip of the island of Lampedusa. In the background behind me there is about 100 kilometers in that direction, Libya, North Africa. And that's where folks try to get across uh, to Lampedusa, which is a part of Sicily, a part of Italy, and a part of Europe. We've come down to the southern tip of the island because uh, an artist has on an installation here, the Door of Europe in the background. Here at the Door of Europe, our team of staff and volunteers and visitors sat down on the rocks and had a short service of prayer and worship. And this team, made up of people of the Christian faith and people of no or other faiths, were united. United in our love to welcome the stranger. 
ubi caritas et amor Deus ibi est. Where there is charity and love, there God is. I will never forget the first person that approached us, an African lady in colourful African clothing, with her eight-month-old baby and her husband. They had made an incredible 3,000 kilometre journey from Cameroon to the north coast of Africa, paid traffickers to get them into a small boat that is made for just one journey, the journey to Europe. I can't even imagine what hell she has been through to get this far, but as she walks towards me, she walks with a true sense of dignity and worth. To me, it was almost as if she was stating defiantly, I am. I exist. I survived. I am. <laughs> <laughs>